Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility, preach with the heart, not just from the lips, and that those who listen, listen with their hearts and not just with their ears. Speak, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. Sisters and brothers, um, yesterday I turned 67. St. Therese of the Child Jesus, patroness of the missions. Thank you for all those who sent greetings, well wishes, gifts, and joined me in thanking God for another year of life. Yeah, simply lang naman po yun eh. I could have gone when I was 66. God gave me another year. 2018 was a difficult time. I could have, you know, succumbed to cancer and all that. But for whatever reason, for whatever purpose, God wants us still to be around. And I keep saying, it's uh, payback time. Sisters and brothers, especially you, you who, who went through any maybe medical problem or are going through a medical, whatever it is, hey, clear reminder, the rest of our lives, let's make it the best of our lives. I remember, you know, it's a journey. And if you go, you see along the road, you kilometer, uh, what do you call them? Counters uh, along the road. But you will know, oh, like, like you want to go to Bani, Pangasinan, ah, 25 kilometers pa. As you approach it, 24. So it's there. Birthdays are something like that. But for us, there's no way we can predict kung ilang taon pa before our final destination. We, we know how, how many kilometers we have traveled, but how many more kilometers up ahead, we don't know. And what's significant too, I remember this always when I was a little boy, uh, along the way, uh, yung electric posts that's lined up all along the road, all the way. What you notice in the electric post is there's a post, and then the wire would go like that down, and then the, another post would bring it up, and then down, up. That's our life. A constant, you know, journeying. Sometimes you're down, but you're always up. You go up, down, you keep going up. So these are, for me, those are parang, well, there's God who, who, who lifts us up. There are friends who lift us up. God will provide every step along the way. Be assured, you'll not just go down. You'll not just sag and, and that's it. Yung sad sad ka na Thank God for, for, for always being there along the way. Thank for people who, who lift us up. Oh, there are people who lift, bring us down as well, but there are more people, really, who just say, go on. Yeah, yeah, life is a journey, a journey to God's heart. And thank you, Lord, the rest of my life, the best of my life. And uh, I was just thinking about first Friday, every first Friday, it's a good reminder for us all that we are on our journey to God's heart. So I was been, I've been thinking about how to look at First Friday. Marami pong devotees ng First Friday, and that's very good. Devotion to the Sacred Heart. It's a good time every First Friday to reflect on our journey. Parang when you're going on a journey, you check. So. First, every first Friday, check nga 
yung F natin is your fasting. Every first Friday, you check the weight of your car. Baka overweight ka na. So, you have to fast. Ito, hindi ko na kailangan ito. Oh, yung mga galit, no? Travel light, mga kapatid. If you want to journey to God's heart, you must travel light. Somebody said, there's so much clutter in our minds and in our hearts. I wish you all uh, a mind that is not so full of worries and cares and a heart that is not so full of emotional baggage. Actually, you have a choice. Choose to travel light. Uh, it's interesting. Many of us, you look into your rooms. Daming clutter. Ang dami kang bagay na hindi mo naman nagagamit. Um, there's this preacher, uh, Mr. Olsen, was saying about um, trying to not to become hoarders. Fasting. So every first Friday you say, Tignan mo, so much things I have to dispose. Travel light, mga kapatid. And there's even a story about somebody who had so much in his room that he cannot enter into the room anymore. In fact, hindi na siya makatulog sa kwarto niya kasi sa dami ng mga gamit na hindi mo na... So, this is our choice. Today, the Lord tells you again, come to me, all you are tired, heavily burdened. You have a choice. You carry all that burden, that's your decision, that's your choice. But if you let me carry them, that's also your decision. Sisters and brothers, today in this Mass, why don't you just, iwan na muna dyan. Worries, your hurts, your endless po eh. Endless. Fasting. Travel light. Oh, may mga palagi nating ginagawa siguro. Oh, every first Friday, oh, hindi ako masyadong mag-text, mag-video-video mag dyan. Oh, I really fast from food, from drinks, whatever. Something like, I'll fast from negative thoughts. I'll fast from uh, rumors. This is beautiful. Every, imagine every, every month, check your journey, fasting. I, in the word first, is... It's a time for introspection. Introspection means uh, really ask yourself, what's happening? Am I happy? Am I really happy? Uh, am I peaceful? Time to go before the Lord's heart and say, Lord, this is my heart. That's your heart. You compare your heart with the sacred heart. What's your heart full of? Hatred? Uh, Pride, selfishness, negativities, hopelessness. I have met people who are so sick and yet so joyful and full of hope. And you don't even hear them complain. Again, check that please. Introspection. At bawasan na po natin yung inspection. You're always inspecting other people. Sila mali, yan mali. Hello, why don't you start with yourself? And there, find God. Because you'll never find God as long as you're focused in what is wrong, what should be in everything and everyone. Let the Lord take care of them. You take care of yourself. You be at peace with your God. Introspection. Our Reparation. Sacred heart, reparation to the sacred heart. You know, as we travel, the introspection is the one that guides us where to go, okay? That's a GPS for you. Reparation is uh, being aware of the dangers, aware of our, our 
weaknesses and yet trusting God, trusting God that all will be well. Like instead of worrying about your tires or your, your gasoline, etc. No, it's, it's something that you say, look, anything can happen. I have had mistakes, but I'm praying, I'm offering all this in humble acknowledgement of my weaknesses. And not only me, you also make reparation for the whole world. This world needs restoration and conversion. So it's meaningful when you say, Lord, on behalf of this and that, I offer this in reparation. We all need to do reparation for our sins and for the sins of the whole world. Please check that if you're doing any reparation. Another check when every first Friday is your service. That service aspect of your journey. Are you serving people? Quantifiable yan eh. Makikita mo naman eh. Are you sharing to people? You are on a journey. What do you do? Aircon ka lang. Sige, enjoy, relax. And people are suffering. You don't stop for anyone. You don't let anybody in because you just enjoying your journey, breezing through, cruising through. That's not the journey to God's heart. You'll never make it really there. If you travel alone, in comfort, in style, no, service. What are we doing to help people, especially during this time of the pandemic? Sure, we're praying. I hope you're praying for other people. And also, you share with other people. And many people around us who are really suffering, going hungry, going desperate, spreading hope, whispering hope to people, whispering inspirations, something like that. That's the service aspect. And check. And the first, safety first, T is thanksgiving. How is your thanksgiving? Is your life full of thanks? And is your life full of giving? Thanks, giving. Are you a grateful pilgrim to God's heart? Or are you a complaining pilgrim? A miserable, uh, grumbling pilgrim? We're all in a journey to God's heart. And God loves joyful, grateful, cheerful people. Check that. So every first Friday then is a good chance for us to check our journey to God's heart. Check our hearts as we journey to God's heart. So check your fasting. It's a journey on. Your introspection, not just inspection. So people, reparation. Humbling oneself that I need forgiveness and reparation. And the world needs that too. The service aspect. Are we serving? And I'm not talking of big things. St. Teresa, the child Jesus said, it's not, you know, the achievements or the difficulties that you have in your work, but the love you put into whatever you do, no matter how simple. And so, finally, thanksgiving. Are you a grateful traveler, pilgrim to God's heart? So thank you, and please don't forget, in our journey we have the guardian angels. From time to time, will you please pause and say to your guardian angel, guardian angel, di pa tayo nagkikita, pero thank you ha, for being with me all these years. I hope to meet you someday in heaven. Stay the end. Your bodyguard since you were born, all the way. So better have a good ongoing conversation with your guardian angel. I remember a very simple story from Mama when we were little children and really remain in my mind. Sabi na Mama sa amin noon, you know, every time you go through a temptation, dalawa yan. 
on your left ear. She was very clear, left ear. That's the, the evil one telling you, Sigina, you do it, enjoy, go on, go on, go on. But on the other hand, on your right ear, your guardian angel telling you, no, don't do it, you'll not be happy, it's not good. So the battle of the angels. And Mama went on to tell us, if you succumb and you listen to the evil one, he is rejoicing and your angel is weeping because you chose evil. In the same way, if you choose your guardian angel, he'll embrace you and the evil one leaves embarrassed, ashamed, angry. You have a choice. These are little stories for all of us to keep remembering about our guardian angels, our bodyguards. And speaking of angels, well, we laid to rest on my birthday our uncle Angel Munoz, Dr. Angel Munoz, 95, an angel to us, our whole family. What an inspiration, if I may say again. And he was laid to rest here in the Columbarium in Christ the King. That's where my mama is also. So brother and sister are together. That's a beautiful uh, uh, development. But you know, the more we reflected as cousins, he was such a, a caring uncle. He cared for us. He was interested. Oh, Father Jerry, how are you? And he knew, oh, Father Jerry, I've been reading. Parang, you talked to him, he, he, you felt important. He believed in you, all of us. And he was always just smiling, gentle, quiet, but very, very caring, very loving. So, and we, as a clan, cousins and nephews and nieces, we, we really finally, you know, our the final thought that this was an uncle who really went the extra mile and who always gave the extra smile. Angel. That summed up in so many ways uh, what, who he was and how he lived. And he did it all in, an, in humility. It was a typical Munoz trait, I believe, mama, our grand. But again, you see, why am I saying this? Because people in the end remember kindness. Please specialize on kindness. And no matter how simple your life is, if you're kind, the Lord smiles at you, and Mama Mary smiles at you. So, as we have guardian angels, we are also reminded to be like angels. To be angels to one another. So as we come before the Lord today, let's now ask our guardian angels again to protect us from the virus and pray that the pandemic will end soon and pray that we learn. We learn what the Lord wants us to learn. That we really listen to, to the Lord. And we ask also the guardian angels to protect us from accidents. I have, I've had two or three accidents and I believe the angels were there to save me. Protect us from bad people with bad intentions. Your angels will protect you. Your angels will not abandon you. And your angels know who they are who are hurting you. The angels are there. And protect us also from hopelessness and depressions. The angels are there 
to cheer us up. Sisters and brothers, let's pray now. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Now let us turn to the Lord and bring our prayers and our petitions. <clears throat> 